Hello there. Um, is your name uh, Jess? Yes. Can, okay. Yep. So, what, what, what do you want? What question do you have today? Do you want to tap into my my career path? I feel very scattered on this question. Um, I, I don't know if you've actually are in a state of passion right now or still figuring things out. Um, I do feel like hospitality might somehow come to your experience where you might find some sort of you know re rewards, mostly, but also financial rewards through that. I think you'll build this though. Okay. Um, you might even start, because um, it keeps showing like, you know, if either you start a catering company or you start a company to where you're actually providing some sort of functions and project managing. I just see that with you and doing well at that. Um, but it's like expanding with that idea of hospitality. Um, so I think that if you're kind of like, you know, scattered about the idea, I would kind of refine your focus on ways you can take that further um, and help being if servicing people, not be of service but servicing people okay um so i heard event organizer but all these little things keep coming to mind that it's like you'd be really good at you know organizing put things together in that way it may start that you actually start a catering company to some degree you know in that okay. direction um but it seems like you're independent with it so um i wrote down detour so it might be a slight detour on this but i mean you're gonna realize that anyways if i can predict it just means you haven't realized it yet that that realization will come and you'll start going that path um, anything specific about that that you want to dive deeper on? No, that makes that makes sense. I'm kind of in a crossroads right now, so. Okay, but did, do you understand the hospitality situation? Mm -hmm. you know okay, because okay. I, I feel like someone's going to help you get into this, like start this, like either catering company or something that degree, and I think being very hands on, almost like having your own business with a partner. Okay. So, uh, time frame. I think that you know the the, the realization may uh, come about within six months. So I know it seems like a long time, but again, that will go very quickly because you'll be realizing other things. And it doesn't mean that you're gonna be at this stage for six months, it means that you're expanding in a six month boom and the idea manifests for you. Um, I know they're saying that you might have questioned about real estate. I don't think we're at this time. So I don't know if you question real estate. But they're saying, they're saying, don't feel bad that you turned it down. It's just not right now. You're thinking because you're forced yourself to do that. That's not really your space yet, but you will have investment properties in the future for okay. sure. All right, else? What about my love life? Do you see anything? <laughs> <laughs> Currently, no, but let's look at the future. <laughs> um, and this precise moment, no, but let, let me actually let me just tune in before. Um, uh, okay, they're saying you haven't made enough space for it in your life. Um, they're saying that the, 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 and now, or the, the similar show is like, you open the door and they close it really quick. You open the door and they close it. <laughs> you let people in and shut them out. Come in, down. Yeah. So, so there's a there's, there's a trepidation there. Um, let me see where that's coming from, so we can put that on the table and help you kind of get rid of that as well. Okay. Um, you've been burnt. You've yeah. been massively burnt. Like take it, like like stolen from burnt. I feel like so. Like some either someone's literally stolen from you or really just take taken from you. You feel like taken energy, and I get that. But that's not everybody, right? So don't create that person with everybody because then you keep repeating that same trauma. You just push everybody away. Come to terms that you may have not been, you may have been a little careless about you know checking your corners in your life and that you can make sure you're doing that now so you don't repeat being taken for again. Because man, I think you were taken for a ride and got burnt. Like this and dropped, if that makes any sense to you. Complete uh, sense. Yeah, and so, um, Understand this, that that's more a reflection of them and a reflection of how much you, you allowed in in your life and what you didn't create for yourself. But they're saying you're still healing. So you've begun the healing process, you're still healing. But they're saying give that time to and to be consciously ready to let go of that. Um, to be rational, right? Because it's not rational. The ego says, okay, to have a relationship is to be burnt. The ego is in protection mode. We say that's not rational because there's other relationships that can be very warm and supportive of me. That's what I want to connect with. Think that way, you'll accelerate your healing. Your, you will accelerate your healing process, um, and I think you will. So, looking forward, I like to go in the past because I like people to understand why they haven't manifested. It. No, it it's that's right. Yeah. Um, but future was, oh, you'll be married in two years. Oh God, you're good. Don't tell me that. God. Oh yeah, this is coming <laughs> so fucking fast. I'm sorry for my mouth today, but I just I feel free today, so I'm sorry, guys. I'm being very okay. Much this is gonna come in fast. Like it's gonna blindside you. So I think the two year time frame, so either you need them in two years or, or establishes in two years. I feel like it's like you turn your corner like, oh, hi, and 
boom, like that. So it's going to collide. They're saying, please be patient. It's quiet for a while. Understand that's quiet before the storm. And they're saying that's a, that happens a lot in your life. They're saying that a lot of times in the quiet, and all of a sudden things just happen right away. They're saying that's consistent in your life. Understand that it gives you time to marinate. That's all. Okay? But you're on the right track. You're on the okay. right track. And these realizations, because again, if you were not, I would not see anything in your trajectory. Like, I don't see anything. You got to do this. So the fact there's a nice array of, of events shows me that you are still doing things correctly as far as projecting desire and knowing what you want to do. So I want to at least give you that peace and knowing that, yes, what you've also been pondering is also creating your future. The more you meditate, right, and center yourself, you'll see it too. You'll know it. Like, okay, I feel this on the right track and you'll take care of what you need to take care of, your, what you need to take care of now, which is healing. Yes, that, that makes why, 100%. That's why, that's, why, that's, why no, that's why nothing is moving right now because they're saying that you, you got to work on the healing process so then you can be more hospitable to people. To okay. be more open. All right? That makes sense. Your guys love you. Spirit loves you. And it was a pleasure. Anything else before we close? No, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Was a, it was a pleasure to meet you. Thank you.